So hey guys, here's a quick comparison with a uh, TFW blade and a very similar blade by Diosdado Ona from Tal Batangas. So this is the TFW. This is the one from Tal Batangas in the Philippines. Both are actually made in the Philippines. This is traditionalfilipinoweapons.com. This is an independent maker. And uh, they're very similar um, in materials and in size. This I know is a 29 centimeter. So this is slightly above that, maybe a 30 centimeter. So uh, we've got uh, both blades here on display and uh, they're both basically um, 29 centimeter blades. This is pretty light. It's got a lot of um, aluminum in it or really light gauge channeled steel. This one has a lot of heavy brass. This is solid brass, which makes it a lot heavier. A lot more of a heavy duty uh, style. Um, I'm not sure if this is wood or G10. This is natural wood. So this has very heavy pinning. I'm not sure if you could see the pinning there as opposed to this. The pinning is really strong and broad and the Zen pin is set in pretty well. So uh, yeah, if you're looking to buy a uh, traditional Filipino weapons, don't uh, be shy. The uh, price point is about the same. Uh, this was basically 3,000 Filipino pesos, uh, or basically about $180, not with the shipping. The TFW runs about 230, and it's well worth the price point in the materials and in its construction and craftsmanship. Very much a, uh, a strong workhorse of a blade. Anybody who likes Bally songs is going to want to own this. This is going to be one that lasts a long time. So just in a s slight comparison, how they look folded and how they look open.